So now this is a question asked in the CBSE examination 2004. It says a pair of die is thrown seven times. If getting a total of seven is a success, find the probability of no success, six successes, at least six successes, at most six successes. So these are the four parts and these will make clear the whole picture of Bernoulli trials and binomial theorem or binomial expansion or binomial distribution. Let's start with the solution. So it has been said that getting a total of 7 is a success. So what is the sample space wherein we can get a total of 7? So the total of 7 can be achieved in the following manner 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6, 1 cases. Okay, so these are how many cases? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 cases. So 36 would be the total favorable cases or outcomes. So the probability of a success is 6 over 36 which is 1 by 6. So the probability of a failure is 5 by 6 specifically speaking. Now probability of success is denoted by small p while that of failure is denoted by small q. Now the first part says that the probability you have to take out for no success. So the first part no success. Now you know the simple formula and you can directly use that formula. Now ncr, no success means x is equal to 0, ncr p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r. Now n factorial upon n minus 0 factorial into 0 factorial p raised to the power 0 is 1, q raised to the power n. So cancelling whatever cancels. Now q raised to the power n. What is q? q is basically the probability of failure. So it is 5 upon 6. So this is 5 over 6 whole raised to the power n. So this is the first part. And here what is n? n is basically 7 because you have to get c thrown 7 times. So tossing is done 7 times. So n is number of trials which are 7. After the first part, let's see the second part. So this is the first part. The second part is 6 successes. So for 6 successes, I know the value of r is given to me as directly 6. So it is ncr means 7 should be your n again. So ncr p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r. Now 7c6 is basically 7c1 multiply by 1 raised uh, 1 upon 6 whole raised to the power 6 multiply by 5 upon 6. So either you can leave your answer here or you can do 7 5 is 35 multiply by 1 by 6 whole raised to the power 7. So this is the answer to the second part. What about the third part? The third part is regarding at least 6 successes. So minimum 6 successes should come. So when I say at least 6 successes means minimum 6 successes. Minimum 6 successes means either 6 is the value of R or 7. So it will be NCR, I erase it here because R can be both 6, 7. So NCR, P raised to the power R, Q raised to the power N minus R. So this is there. Also, I know that at least means one more thing has to be considered, which is 7C7, P raised to the power 7, q raised to the power 7 minus 7 is 0. So now what is my answer? So for this part, I know we already solved in the previous part which is 35 multiplied by 1 by 6 whole raised to the power 7. Here what I can do is, I know what is 7c7, what is ncnc? ncn is n factorial upon 0 factorial into n factorial which is 1. So this is ignored completely. And this because raised to the power 0 is already 1. So this is 1 by 6 whole raised to the power 7. So what you can do is 1 by 6 whole raised to the power 7 can be taken as common. So that becomes multiply by because since this can be taken as common. So 35 plus 1 is 36. So these are the different answers to all the three parts.
Now again, some people will find that I don't want to leave the answer like this. For me, probably this 1 by 6 whole raised to the power 7 is not use of me. What I'll do is I'll just take something common and then divide into lowest terms. It's up to you how you simplify. The main answer is after this step. If you don't want to follow this, you can anyways change it and do the way you want. What you can do is you can take 1 upon 6 whole raised to the power 6 common and then accordingly the answer will change for the simplest terms. What is the fourth part regarding? The fourth part is at most 6 successes. Now at most 6 successes means maximum 6 successes. That means when R is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you go for this long calculation and substitution, the answer will become tedious to solve and you will not be able to solve more than one part in the question in the given time frame. So what we do is we can do it in the other way around. 1 minus P of X greater than 6. This is better because I know if I have to find out something related to at most, I can convert it into this form. Now, what is the answer like? 1 minus x is greater than 6 means the last case is possible which is directly r is 7. So, 1 minus n c r p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r which is completely vanished from our picture. So, it is 1 minus 7 c 7 is definitely 1, right? So, 1 minus 1 by 6 whole raised to the power 7 and that is the answer to this question. So, see we have solved 4 parts and these all parts will basically enhance your understanding related to binomial distribution.